Hey guys, I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to send data from ESP8266 to the Firebase database console. As you can see, the data is populating one by one. It's a continuation for the upcoming video. So, without further ado, let's get started. This video is sponsored by Thomson Electronics. They are the best dealers in commercial supplies of electronic components in India with high quality products and a wide variety of category to choose from. This is the Arduino code for the project. First I have included the ESP8266 Wi-Fi library, then the Firebase library. As you can see I have set 10 field for float random numbers. Float random number 1, number 2. This will be setting the random numbers to the Firebase console from 1 to 10. Then I define the Firebase host, the Firebase authentication key, Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi password. Later on we will be populating all the fields from the Firebase database console and the Firebase host, the Firebase auth token. Then we move on to the void setup. Inside the void setup, first I serial begin with 11500 baud rate and random seed of analog read with the value of 0. Then I begin the Wi-Fi with the SSID and the password. After that we will serial print connecting until we connect. Then we have the while condition while the Wi-Fi status will be connected with not be connected it will be serial printing at the delay of 500 millisecond. Then after connected we will serial print connected. Then we check the Firebase console with the Firebase begin under Firebase host and authentication key. Then we begin the void loop. Then we serial print sending data. These data will be received from the random values with a value of 10 and the value will be stored from the random number 1 and the position will be a byte of 10 and will be saved to the random number 1. Then we set the random number 2, accordingly random number 3 up to random number 10. It will be all random values which will be sent to the Firebase console. And we set the float values. The first random number will be the simulation of smoke. The second random number will be the simulation of CNG and accordingly we will have value still altitude. It will have a delay of 10,000. This is the value and which has I accordingly value of 10,000. Then we have a condition if firebase dot fail we will serial print firebase log sending fail and we will say the data from the firebase as firebase error. After that we will return the condition and we will end the loop. Then we will go to firebase.google.com and login with our account. After that we will click on go to console. Once it's open we will click on create a new project and we will give it a random name. Here I will be giving it as random data. Once it's done click on I accept firebase conditions and then continue. After that we need to click on continue again. Then we accept the Google Analytics terms and click on create. After that the project is ready. It will be opening the console.firebase.google.com and we will scroll down and click on all extensions and click on the Firebase real time database. After that if we scroll down we can see the functions, storage and hosting which will be provided by the Firebase. Then we click on create database. We don't need to change anything. Then we click on create and we start in the lock mode. Again we will click on enable. The database will be opening right now as you can see over here. Right now it has a null value. If we click on the three dots we will see we will see the export JSON import JSON value. After that we go to the rules. And we will change the rule from false to true so that we can write to the Firebase database console. Simply type true instead of false. Here we can, re we can redirect the read and write permissions and click on publish. As you can see our rules has been published from the database. 
then we go to the gear icon and the project settings then we move to the service account from here after loading the database we will click on the database secrets and scroll down to show the database api key we will copy the database api key and also the firebase console link then we will paste the firebase api key along with the host link and we will populate the wifi ssid and password now then we go to the tools select the board name and com port once it's done we will click on upload and we will need to wait 2 to 3 minutes on the first try if the values doesn't pop up simply go to documents adreno libraries here you can see the firebase adreno master library then we move to the src folder and we open the firebase http client in an editor here i'm using vs code to edit the value and we move down to the static constant character firebase fingerprint here we need to update the fingerprint to the latest one. I will provide the GitHub link in the video description. From here you need to copy the latest fingerprint data. Here you can see it was updated on 2022 January 1st. After pasting this value or the latest value you need to update the Arduino code. After that you can see the data will be popping up soon. This is the continuation of the upcoming project which will be updated on our channel. It's regarding a weather station. For the testing purposes, I have made this video. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.